Hey everyone, welcome back to the shop. Let's see what Kong has for us this morning. Ready? This thing's pretty cool, I think. This here is a Ibanez. I knocked over my monkey. Anyway, Ibanez, 1977 Artist Series. It's got an issue. It's got a pretty bad issue. Let's see if we can find it. Ready? Let's see where it is. Where it is. Where it is. Not there. Not there. Da -da. <gasps> oh no! Yep, we got a heel separation here. So uh, stay tuned, because yeah, this is going to be ugly. All right, see you guys in a bit. See you! All right, now that we have this here 1977 Ibanez Artist Series guitar on the bench and take a closer look see what's happening this thing has had some wear and tear that's for sure look at those old suit well, those super 80s embossed Ooh, embossed anyway oh sh sh shoot we need to turn on our vintage lumens generator with custom red subscribe button ready there it is you guys do the same thing see right there anyway Let's see here. What else? What else do we got? Look at that. I like the double nut. That's what she said. Thank you. These are really cool guitars. It's a shame this 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 kinda is a common thing for these. This joint likes to uh, likes to open up here. This is not the kind of joint that we want to be opening up. Right. All right. That's. Oh yeah. Look at that. Here, I'll give it a little bit of flexicating. I don't know if you guys can see it, but yeah, that's that's moving. So we are going to have to take this part, get in there, and fix this. So let's just take the parts off for now. We'll see, what's, see if we can see. See, see if we can see. Wow. I need more coffee, obviously. But uh, you guys get in your holder, and we'll uh, see, see if we can see what we can see. See you in a bit. All right, let's ditch these strings. They are no longer needed. Ready, snippity snip. You should have clipped the spring that catch the wind that doesn't neck break in the whip whip. Something like that. Cool. All right. Strings and off the headstock. And now we'll, we'll see how much of a, how flexible and how much of a break this really is. Hold on. Get rid of strings. Strings gone. Let's come off. No, okay, good. Alrighty. Uh, let's see how we want to do this. You guys back up a little bit. There we go. Oh, yeah. Yep. It's open. Yeah, we knew that. I wanted to see if it had a lot of flex the other way. Okay, so. <clears throat> that means time for incoming Bosch. Alright. Let's get rid of these here. Oh, come on. Wow. Sorry, size. Oh, somebody had already chewed that one up. Thanks. Appreciate that. First, we're gonna have to have this out of there. We we should desolder. Powering up soldering iron. Ooh, that. It's metal. see what's going on in here. Ding. Oh, that's nice, nice work in there. I, I think that's factory. What do you guys think? Probably. Sure looks like it. So we're going to at least need to get rid of the neck pickup. All right. So that would be this guy here. You got to go, sir. Right, you guys get back up a bit. Uh, you can zoom in. There we go. Zoom and enhance. Okay. We definitely do not want to damage the vintage Super Super 80s pickup. All right. So let's get rid of it. Come on. Let go. Let go. I find that some old solder, it must have a higher remelt temperature because, man, sometimes, there we go. There we got it. How about you? You gonna let go? Yep, good. 
Okay. Cool. Hopefully that's the one. Swing it back out. Now let's see what we got on the other side. Cool. Let's get this the rest of the way over there. Hey, those screws work. All right, Super 80. Look at that. It's super. So these things do sound good. Not the pickups make a huge difference in your overall tone, but they sound good. I do like them. I wouldn't pay what people are asking for these now, but I suppose if I found them in a yard sale, I'd probably keep them. You know? All right, that can go over there. With that and the other parts to not get lost over there. Okay, good. All right, what do we got going in here? Oh, no. Oh, there's been a repair attempt already. This could be bad. Uh, someone has tried to dowel this, and it obviously has failed. This just got interesting. Oh, man, I'm going to have to... Oh, I don't know what I'm going to have to do. I might have to take a minute and think about how to attack this here. Ugh, all right, here you... Dang. Here, come on now. Let's give you guys a, a closer look. <clears throat> look at that nonsense, huh? Somebody already went in there. So, I can't take the heel out. Ah, those got to be angled in. Those dowels got to go away before I can do anything, right? This is, oh boy, all right. I think what I'm going to do, binding is loose there. Do we have any cracks we can go to? No, not so much. I don't want to take the binding off all the way, but I would love to be able to get this fingerboard off up to here and see what's going on in that joint. I know I'm going to have to pull this fret out to steam that joint. That's just going to have to happen. I think... I think I'm going to drill a... Whoops, sorry. I think what we're going to do... All right, I just came up with a genius plan. We are going to use a long, smaller bit. And we're going to use these to heat this joint. And hopefully, I can use these dowels... Is like guides because they're right on the they're right on the edges. So I'm gonna drill there and then in the middle of this one to try to get steam into this joint and get it out. How far in does it go? Just to there. All right. So it's a big square chunk and no tongue. That's good. All right. What do you guys think? Crazy? Stupid? What's a joint? <clears throat> That's a shame. Look at that. Binding exploded out of there. Ugh. That's a... That's a no good. Uh, ugly. Alright, let's uh, stop talking about it start doing it. You guys get back in your holder. We'll see if we can break it further. Okay? Okay. Ready, set, pause. Okay, so what we are going to do now... Is we're gonna, I'm going to assume that whoever did this, did. I can see a little ding right there. And I'm going to guess, since it's right where a drill bit would have to be, that he probably hit it as low as possible. So most likely, he hit it about this. Well, you'd have to, to get any. Uh, all right. We're going we're gonna to assume that he was about this angle. And then we're going to go in... Now, boy, how far, he couldn't, see, they couldn't have got the dowels in very far. Here, check, pull this back so you guys can see really what this exercise and futility did here. All he did was make it harder to fix. So he probably was an angle about like this. And if we go, let's get you down here. All right, I'm trying to give you guys a good what I'm seeing type of representation and all right there we go that's much more better like that there we go so I'm gonna guess he went in an angle like that come on focus focus 
sorry. There we go. Went in an angle like that, and then so that means he went in down like this. That means that that, boy, maybe, maybe that dowel stuck in like that far, maybe, and that obviously didn't do anything. That's not the strong part of the joint. I, I mean, it, why? Because that's the, uh, that didn't do anything. Uh, I think all they did was dowel the wood of the neck itself and didn't really create any type of locking mechanism. Uh, okay. All right, so what we're gonna do is first we're gonna pull this, I still need to pull this fret and we're gonna go down about that far. So let's mark that first. We'll get that. And maybe, I think I might be changing my plans. I don't know, this is, I. it's odd when you have to go in. So we'll call that right there. We don't wanna blow through. It's odd when you have to go in and fix someone else's fix. <clears throat> Do it quite a lot here. So we're gonna clean up this fret here. Let me get to you guys. Why don't you go from the other side? Hang on, right? Reset camera. Pause. Yeah, we'll go from this angle for a minute. Sound good? So let's clean up this fret. Do that because clean frets conduct heat way more betterer so and soldering iron there we go careful don't want to oh i need the right i need the right tool for the job you guys need to back up a little bit or a little close oh sorry about that there we go let's see if we can just grab it oh come on it actually has nibs so i would rather not ruin them and give it a wiggle I mean, sometimes you get a razor blade underneath them but Ibanez did a great job putting in their frets they really did ow hurt yep a little bit all right we're gonna have to get a little bit of a, a razor blade action I think um so I do not want to ruin that the nibs let's see maybe I can get it oh I got it I got it, yay! See, didn't have to do the razor blade. And also, this will show you how, this is old ebony, really old ebony. This ebony is, this guitar was put together before I was born even, and I'm really old. You watch this. Let's clean up our iron, make it nice and conductive. see that there it is I want to see the smoke you want to see a little bit of smoke with ebony you want to be super careful don't worry not hurting anything ready watch this here we go coming out come on there we go uh-huh it's not chipped those are just the spots where the fret went in check it out watch this I'll lightly take. Hey, where's a where's a razor blade? And yeah, there it is. <clears throat> now let's just do a little bit of light. Oh, don't want to hit that. Ooh, can't can't bubble that out. Don't do that. Almost wiped out our nibs. That's bad. We have to rebuild a nib. Ugh, that'd be annoying. But yeah, see. You gotta do this anyway before when you put the fret back in. By the way. If I have to yank the board for some reason, and I have to change all the frets for some dumb reason, I'm not going to keep the nibs. Whee! Save the nibs! But hopefully I don't have to do that. There we go. And let's give a little bit of a scrubby scrubby. Okay. There you go. Look at that. No chips, no chunks. Those are just from the actual barbs of the fret. It's still kind of warm. 
uh, we're going to save this with our parts. Now, hold on, let me wait until that stupid air compressor is done. Pause. All right, and we're back. Let's, I might have to move you guys a little bit. Let's make sure you can see what's happening. Yeah, there we go. All right, so what I'm going to do is basically try to shoot for wherever the edge of that joint is. Right about there, maybe just a little bit inwards. Right about there. And I'm not going to go down to completely to the tape. I'm just, that's my, like, emergency stop. Oh, you know. oh there it is. Oh, I hit it. I got it. Okay, we hit something. There it is. So it's a little more towards the edge. Okay, let's shoot for that spot here. You guys see? I could feel it drop right into a cavity. There it is. Okay, there's, there's lots of space in there. I wonder why that joint didn't hold. That would be why. All right, and uh, let's, what I'm gonna do also, hopefully, this is my plan. I'm gonna go in and drill out these things in the center. And hopefully, I'm gonna start pumping steam in there. And I'll be able to maybe thread a screw. Let me get my center punch. I'm gonna thread a screw into them and maybe be able to pull them out so they're out of my way when they warm up. There we go. And come on, in this relative center. There we go. These work great for guitar repair, setting screws, centering things. These will even put a dent in most metals. All right. I need to move this so I can see a little more straight on. Because my highly calibrated eyechrometer needs to be looking straight from the front. Okay. Power down my soldering iron. Okay. So let's go from this angle. Actually, you know what? I'm going to set it in the vise. You guys hold on. Pause. All right. Again, where our little cheapy TV level comes in handy. So let's... We're going to try to hit this right on the center. And, oop, let me see how far we can actually go. Set my tape to a new depth. Hold on, I need a new piece of tape. Need a new piece. I know, riveting content right now, right? Boring. Uh-huh. So let's see how deep we can go from that angle. About, I'm gonna say about there is gonna be like, do not go. Thou shall not pass. You shall. You. Right? Okay. Hopefully I just hit a void like before. All right. Let's see what happens. Send it, right? You guys are watching. You're witnesses. Oh, yep. Got something. There we go. I think I'm going to win. There it is. Okay. Cool. Now, I may... I'm not sure if I want to pull another fret or not. So I can get, I don't think I'm going to need to. I'm betting this workmanship isn't that great. And it'll just come apart. Not Ibanez is the, the hacky, the hackety hack hack that hacked that. All right. Incoming air. Oh, we should turn on our custom coffee maker slash neck removal unit. Oh, sorry. You saw my trash. Let's get this over here like this. This over here. All right, I gotta fill that with water. You guys don't need to watch that and, or stare at my trash. Here, stare at this, and then I'm gonna pause. All right, so I'm here. Let me show you guys what's going on. We got our coffee machines dribbling. It's just getting ready. Hopefully, it doesn't get clogged. I often have to unclog that thing because it gets all sorts of particulates and reverse glue residue up in there. But uh, yeah, 
we got this thing ready to go. It's in the vise. Those are drilled out. And yeah, we're going to send it here in a second. This here, Ibanez. Maybe I'll do this kind of one-handed while we, uh, we chit-chat with you guys. Ready? Come on. Come on. Happens when you get older. Uh-oh. We may need a... We may need an unclogging. Come on. There we go. There it goes. Oh, almost. Oh, getting there. Sorry, it's never happened before. Wow. We got a squirter. Normally it's just a lot of... A lot of <laughs> I must have overfilled it. <laughs> oh, here we go. Ready? Steam. There we go. <laughs> there. Woo. Jeez, I think I need a cigarette. I'm just kidding. I don't smoke. That's gross. Anyway, in. All right, let's see what's going to happen. Watch this thing drop right on the floor. It's going to be amazing. Ooh, we're going to make a mess. Look at that. Oh, we are making such a mess. Oh, boo. I might have to go sideways on this thing. Oh, geez. All right, ready? Get in the holder. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. There we go. That one looks like it has potential. Oh, great. <laughs> well, yeah. Oh, well, I gotta do this. Oh, speaking of something's gonna happen. This is Yeah, but I'm hoping it'll come out around those stupid dowels. Oh, there we go. Oh yeah. get out wow i've never taken one of those apart before oh holy let's see it's the mortis yeah and then there's one i of those... see what they're doing with the dowels see what they tried to do but yeah. look it didn't go anywhere yeah i, I know what they're trying to do yep yeah. oh man all right let's see what it looks like on the other end oh this this is going to be the nasty end Yep. Here, swing this out a little bit. Oh, man. Look at that. Ew. Oh, that ain't good. Look at that angle. <laughs> yeah. We're going to have to fix that. All right. We're going to have to clamp that back down. All right. Uh, it's good. good stop, top, stopping point because that's... That's kind of effed. Oh, uh-oh. Oh, there it is. I broke it. I broke it. Well, that's it. Technician breaks guitar. Throw it away.